Hey guys, Cody the Coin Raptor here, and I want to go ahead and bring you a short video about Token Terminal. I will have the URL in the description of the video, but this is really one really cool site that I've seen uh, regarding crypto and crypto research. This is the only place I've been able to find for any sort of fundamentals of crypto. And by that, I mean, you can find things like revenue on here. You can find things like a price to sales ratio, or in the case of crypto, there's also what they call price to fees. So you can go ahead and go on this site and you can actually take a look at uh, a lot of the metrics that they measure crypto by. And in some cases, like a price to sales, and revenue you wouldn't find that on any other site as far as I know and you could use those as kind of a, a sort of parallel to uh, stocks and company price to sales and, and fundamental ratios so what I want to go ahead and do is I want to show you a, a quick tour of what I like to look at on token terminal so if you just go right to the page here and then scroll down you can see that there's a data table here and the data table, you can kind of uh, mess around with the upper right here and just click on any of these options here and it'll show you a list of crypto as well as the fundamentals for that crypto. You have the price, you have 24 hour change, you have the circulating uh, supply, okay? You have the, the, the diluted supply, the total value locked, the fees, and that's paid in the last 30 days. The fee trend for the last seven days, the price to fees ratio, the price to sales ratio, and a treasury as well. So that's you know how much money that that particular blockchain has in its treasury. So if we take a look at this, and for instance, if I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to find out what crypto is generating the most revenue from the users, all you have to do is come up over here and then click on revenue, and you can see that the uh, the leader, the clear leader here is Ethereum. And the revenue right now is actually pretty spectacular. It's $1.2 million in revenue generated over 24 hours, okay? So you can think of, uh, in, in this case, if you're curious about revenue, they, ha they also have descriptors of uh, all the metrics and how they calculate it as well. So uh, in this case, they define revenue as fees generated for token holders in the past 24 hours. So you can go and check that and, and look at this. Now they used to have a price to sales ratio for Ethereum and a price to, they had previously priced earnings, but they got rid of it because their priced earnings metric, in my opinion, made no sense. But they, they used to have a price to earnings as well however for ethereum because of the recent merge it's all na right now so if you click on ethereum you can see loaded up here it doesn't really give you a, uh, a it doesn't really give you a lot of these metrics because again they just did the merge and they haven't caught up yet on token terminal to uh, go and, and change these things so let me back out here and go go back here to the data table and so if we take a look at that we can see ethereum is the clear leader when it comes to fees uh, generated and revenue uh, they can say almost 180 days uh, ethereum generated 1.1 billion dollars in revenue and that's pretty insane when you think about it and it's it's so much higher than any other blockchain here if you can also sort by either if you want to just look at dApps or if you want to look at blockchains so you can just look at blockchains specifically here and in this case you have um, ethereum again at the top here for, for revenue or you can sort it just by dApps and you can see here that by dApps openc is by far the largest revenue generator and that's not surprising when you consider that Ethereum is also um, up there, is, is in the top spot as well for blockchains. So what I like to take a look at for this is the total value locked. All right, so when you look at total value locked, let me go back to all here. When you look at total value locked, you can see here that th these are kind of... Um, uh, how you can examine DeFi protocols and see what DeFi protocols are the most popular right now, judging by basically the, the total value locked, which is the uh, money deposited into a project smart contract. So you can think of it like um, all the money as part of, of that uh, particular blockchain or that DeFi protocol. So you have the MakerDAO, which is the top, Lido Finance, Curve, Uniswap, Aave, all the ones are up here. And you can go and you just take a look at which one of these is, is 
the most popular and the most widely used. You can also go over here and check fees as well. So you can see, you know, what's generating the most fees and then also price to sales. So I think price to sales is actually a really cool metric to take a look at some crypto. Now with price to sales, price to sales is according to them calculated by dividing the market cap with the annualized revenue. And it shows how it's uh, basically what the valuation is and, in, in, in relation to its revenue here. So if we sorted by your price to sales, we can see that you have a, a couple of these DeFi protocols that are at the top here. Um, one that I always like to, I, I've looked at a few times here is uh, Lido. Lido's down here at only 45 uh, times a price to sales. And if you, let's see, if we go ahead and sort it the other way, you can see what the most overvalued ones are as well. And uh, unfortunately, you have some of the most popular ones here like Algorand and Polygon, Axie Infinity. So this is one way of, of checking and seeing, you know, what the actual revenue generated by a lot of these protocols is, which I think is is just fascinating. And you can come over here and, and check that information if you want to. Uh, there's also on the left here, you can click on the specific metrics as well, and those will show you um, things like your total value locked and just a different display of data. It's the same data. It's just uh, in this case, it's a chart. So you can go and check that out and sort it by the latest of the seven day. But usually when I do this, I like to come over and just take a look at the uh, revenue. Okay, let me click on this revenue. And again, we can see this is just a different presentation of the data. And OpenSea. Number two, Ethereum. Number one, everything else is in a is in a long, uh, a distant uh, third, fourth, fifth place. And you can also take a look at the Treasury as well. You have a Uniswap at the top here, Ethereum Name Service, Lido, Lido Finance, and then everybody else. So. This is just a really interesting site. If you want to go ahead and, and you're doing some crypto research and you're looking at a specific altcoin that you like, it's always worth coming over here and just taking a look at some of the metrics and figuring out if maybe, for instance, they are a little overvalued compared with the amount of uh, revenue coming in. Now, it's not always kind of uh, related to the performance of the coin itself, like if the price to sales ratio is super high, it doesn't necessarily mean that that coin is not going to do well. But I think it's just good knowledge just to come in here and, and do some research and look at the, like, for instance, the treasury or the total value locked of some of these uh, DeFi protocols and some of the coins as well. Because especially with total value locked, I think that this especially is, is very good for DeFi. If you're looking at trying to buy some coins or you're looking at some of these DeFi protocols, you might want to consider whichever one's the most popular, whichever one attracts the most attention. Those are likely to continue and, and not likely to fail, I think, in my opinion. But that's all I've got for you guys today. If you like this content, just let me know. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, I, I'm always going to try to be putting out more of these videos in which I, I, I explain some of the sites that I found, especially when it comes to crypto and what I look for when I'm doing any sort of research on altcoins and uh, other crypto projects. But this one right here, Token Terminal, this is one of my favorites so far. So definitely recommend you guys come and just take a look at it, browse the site. All right. This is Cody the Coin Raptor, and I hope to see you in the next video.